Okay, so wander around in the Shadowlands. Just beat up on some measles. M E A Z E L. Nasty little creatures. There's one there. I guess we can see if. Uh, Oh, anybody can do that. It's something special. So the fun part is we're in the part of the map where... Uh, oops. Darkness is bad. And that's why we have a lantern to protect us. And let's actually do a quick rest. Sorry, short rest. Where do you want to go next? Creaky noises. A lost backpack as opposed to a found one. What's hiding here? Journal log of True Soul Corliss. So that would be that. Day four. Scouting missions dispatched by Catherick Thorne to Shadowlands. Objective locate nest of absolute non believers. Uh, reached outskirts of village, disturbing sounds echo throughout the shadows. Most must evade pursuit. Preparing to create a light barrier for protection against lurking monsters and deadly darkness. May the absolute guide me. This thing. Doesn't look like it worked too well. Nobody's here anymore. Just another crate. I wish I had a bag of holding. Hey, chicken cube. So, you didn't make it too so coreless. You didn't even have anything good on you. When did they die, or you die? Totally safe. Who wants to be our skeleton companion? Looks like there was a struggle here. I guess we should try to talk to the dead, huh? All these keys. What are these keys for? Don't touch me. You can talk to the dead. None of them are glowing, so that means none of them will be talking. Jerks. Let's get on with it. Ta -da, where is it? Info? No. Spells slots here. 
Okay. So who wants to be our fr uh, skeletal friend? Uh, you do. When I go then. Shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. Uh, which way? Wonder if the gods are watching me. So now we have to listen to the skeleton making its noises all the time. The curse has torn open the ground itself. Point. Up there. Okay. And auto saves the best. Okay, is everybody with us? It's like a monk, what the hell? Uh, dance? Why didn't she make that jump? She needs to work on her jumping. Can't give up now. Oh, this kid. <laughs> okay. Shatterroot sacks, yeah. I'll take that. And seek. Will you play with me? Creepy kid. Play. This is no place for a child. It's even if that's even what you are. Don't startle people like that. Who are you? I'm Oliver. I'm seven. Will you play with me? Study the boy. Then we're not gonna make this run or roll. We need a fourteen. Actually, we only need a thirteen. At least. Hey, we got it. Not an ordinary child, but not a spectre either. One part of a greater whole, something ancient and oddly sad. You're not what you say you are, I can sense it. I don't know what you mean. I'm just me. I have a mummy, a daddy, a pet doggy. What are your parents' names? Maybe I can find them. They don't need names. They just need to be mummy and daddy and do what I want. Now play with me or they'll be angry with you. The boy doesn't like these questions because he has no real answers and perhaps no real family. You're a little boy, aren't you? I can sense it. Sorry, I don't think we're, they're coming back. Want to come to my camp? I 
They're coming back. Want to come to my camp? I'm not going anywhere. I like it here. Now play with me or else. Fine. All right. I'll hide and you seek. Find me and you win. And if I don't find you? Then you lose. Off with your head. Get ready. And no cheating. What would be cheating? Other than talking to dead people. Well, hello. The corpse regards you lifelessly. How did you die? Foolish games. Shadow. Ambushed. Shameful death. Dishonor to Flacketh. Why were you here? Training. Becoming a Sarg. Leading my kin. How do I find the curse? The corpse remains silent. It does not know. Who were you? Tithka, warrior for my queen. Blade for my Kithrak. Are there any other Kithanki nearby? Not in the Shadowlands. Atop the mountain reaching to the sun. The spell's power wanes. You can ask no more questions. Looking ahead. What now? We're supposed to be playing hide and seek, but instead we're trying to, you know, rob, crack it open. rob this kid blind. Not that he needs it anymore. Oh, look, 20. No time to rest. Mental inhibition. When a fail foes is, fails a, when a foe fails a saving throw against one of your spells or actions, they gain mental fatigue for two turns. D2. Okay. Dad's axe. Dad's axe, just an axe. I'm supposed to kill a kid with the axe? No, that would be wrong. Never wanted the easy path. Okay, where's the punk kid and we can't we found him yet? I forget where he's hiding. Not like he's not che he's cheating or anything, you know, he's invisibility and stuff, but you know. Okay, I'm tired of the game. Let's 
Seriously, this isn't fun. There's a dead harper up there, though. He doesn't want to play, neither do I. So, off we go. I forget where he's hiding, so. Except I can't be bothered to go looking around everywhere for him, so. We'll move on with our lives. I found something more interesting over here. Maybe. failures. So everybody failed the roll. Was it? Only a 12. No, sorry. Oh, difficult DC 30, so that's why we didn't see it. DC 30. Why? Why even bother? Oh, shit. You. Oops. You need to get up and step away from the computer. That was really bad. That really was bad, actually. Ow. Ow. This is not good. This is really bad. It can't be. This is really bad. I forgot this thing was up here. At least they're blinded by the light of the maze. I think we're doing fine. Shadow Curse Vines. Uh, fire? Shadow. I don't know why she does. That's the amulet that's doing that. I hate the amulet sometimes. Some do is oh, how come healing radiance isn't a thing? Oh, because he's he can't do that anymore. We do, oh, we don't have any charges. That's why. Oops. Um. Oh 
mobile. I thought it wasn't supposed to be able to get immobilized. Somebody lied to me. Uh, can't heal her. Oh, I can throw a potion. I don't think that potion was thrown. Throw. Why am I not throwing the potion? Because I'm entangled? Is that what it is? So I push your target away and possibly knocks it prone. Look, I'm invisible now. Still can't move. It's, oh, constricted. Can't move. Attack rolls against it at advantage while the attack rolls. So it just says I can't move, but it says I can't throw stuff either. Both broken, so yeah, thanks. Well then. So I can shoot stuff, but I can't throw stuff. Makes sense. How's Mrs. Gimpy home? Mrs. Gimpy's home. Off with the dock, yeah. So the vines are gone. Let's have her throw a potion up here. We can knock this thing over. That worked. Really well. Tactical. Very tactical. Oh, skeleton. Let's turn someone inside out. Okay, that's bad ish <laughs> I don't know where that came the blight what happened there plastic uh, whatever so something dying triggered that it's experience Oh, that's very bad. That's ah, really, really bad. Shadowheart looks dead, dead. That's not good. Those vines. It looks like they blow up at some for some reason. I forget what that was. So we actually don't want to go that way. <laughs> Not for another level, I think. So don't go that way. way. Rich, rich. Oh, 
This place is protected. You might find allies here, or at least supplies. Your dogs. For a warm bed and full stomach, look no further. Welcome to the Last Light Inn. No shadows here. Something must be keeping it at bay. You there! Step forward and keep your hands off your weapons. Who are you? MZ and I have sworn an oath to protect nature and creatures from evil I mean no harm. A paladin? She will want to meet you. Just keep your hands where I can see them and follow me. I'm sort of a paladin. Come. I may have broken my oath accidentally when I imprisoned... Well, when I agreed to keep this pixie imprisoned. This is one so which people would simply say hello. At least you're here, I am no threat. At Eastern, I am bound by oaths to not harm the innocent. Ha! Well, I am certainly no innocent, Paladin. So I'll bind you with vines a moment longer, if you do not mind. This is why we're here, you see. It is a curious creature that hides all manner of secrets. But if there's one thing that we know... It's that it knows its own kind. You should never have come here, true soul. Rage against the vines. I am not a true soul. who protected the Emerald Grove. Yup. Didn't leave a goblin standing. Not so bad to hang around with either. Saved one of my friends from a druid with a snake. Knows when to be discreet too. I'd pretty much trust her with my life. A true soul with a mind of her own? How is that possible? Because of this artifact. I work in mysterious ways. You'll just have to take my word for it. Because of this artifact. Oops. You need to get up and step away from the computer. That was really bad. I think everything you know everything you know about the artifacts. So it's been a lifesaver. Here's hoping you agree. Everything we know. Congratulations. You've earned yourself the benefit of the doubt. Hear me, Harpers. All clear. At ease. I'll not pretend to understand what that artifact is. But I'm old and wise enough to recognize a sliver of hope when it crawls out of the dark. Tell me. Why have you come here? Through the absolute slayer of Moonrise Towers. I just want to cure for the parasite of my head, and Moonrise Towers is my only lead. Then our interests align. We must all cure ourselves of the entire cult of the absolute. There's food in the inn over there, beds too, if you require rest. Yellow oil in the cupboard, in case the vines gave you a rash. Settle in. Then come join me for a drink. You may just be the godsend we've been praying for. Knocking around here, right? Oh. It's for a good cause. 
Hi, Vendor. Stock up while you can. I only hope I've brought enough to see us through. You think you could take off your hands at no cost to myself? <laughs> um, I would need that one, probably. Ta da! Cheeky. But, since you're asking. If you're all right by Jahira, you're all right by me. See your stuff. Oh, look at all the stuff. Okay. Hold on to Dad's axe for a little bit longer. bother with tasteful loots. So so what do you actually have here? Potions and stuff. Lots of arrows. Scrolls and stuff I don't really need. Nagger plus one. Defender great axe. Hmm. Incandescent staff, so this is for throwing fire around. Which is that? Thirteen hundred. We could buy it. Do we want it though? Fireball. Hmm. Let's take the fireball. Oh, I'm all plus one. Plus two. Head of uninhibited Kushigo. Night bear their weaknesses after dealing damage with an unarmed attack that where I gain plus one bonus to their spell save DC until the end of next turn. The monk hat. Bark skin armor. An accessible saving throw against a foe spell deal 47 damage 47 fire damage to them eh? rockets here obscure saving throws this one mighty cloth bull strength you gain bull strength and increase your strength score by two to a maximum of 20. Unwavering bull. You cannot be pushed against your will and you have an advantage on saving throws against being restrained. Non T scale mail. As your full dexterity modifier to your armor class. Additionally, this armor doesn't impose disadvantage on stealth checks. Oh, that's actually it's medium armor. Is that? Oh. Make it so it was. Shield of Devotion. Gain one level one spell slot. When foe hits you with a melee attack, you can use the reaction to knock it prone unless they succeed at dexterity saving throw. Shield of Devotion aid. Uh, 
attacks with your offhand weapon. You can add your ability modifier to the damage. Ah, oh, there we go. That's for Sterian. Protection. Give that to somebody. Probably a uh, Shadow Heart. Okay. Take care now. Somebody wants to talk to me. Give that to Shadow Heart. These go to Sterion. Stays here. Nice big shield. And it goes to Asterion as well. The staff, we'll give that to Shadowheart. Wits and blades. Give her some something fire to go along with that cold staff. She should be able to use a shield holding that thing. That's what I thought. Now it is okay. So the staff, just in case we want to use that, set the cold. Well, the 715, the 310, but does Firebolt and Fireball. How often, though? It's a level 3 spell. It's always prepared. Would that work on her? It does. Jahira wants to know about supplies. Will we make it home? Burning yep. through our oil. So she can throw fireballs. So just about do. <laughs> just about. She can throw fireballs if she has to. So hold on to that. Keep a blade close. It's gloves of dexter. Oh. But. The upside of this is his offhand weapon now gives his um, dexterity bonus for damage. So let me get a little bit better than it is. And then the hat. Compared to that one. Oh, invisibility. Dealing damage with an unarmed. Oh, sorry, this is not yours. This is Carlax. Threat. Haste. Momentum for three turns. Momentum is. Effective increase movement speed is increased by one and a half meters per remaining duration. So, is that four and a half meters to the start at the start? This one. Dealing damage with an unarmed attack, the wearer gains plus one bonus to their saving to the spell save DC until the end of their turn. Hmm. Shit, that was a waste of money. Worth the same. Shit. Nobody else does un unarmed attack, so damn it. Luminous armor. Twitch can't wear this. It's for a 
good cause. Let's get going. Oh my god, soldier. That's Jahira. The Jahira. You know her? Yeah, the Jahira that almost uh, sicked a pack of Harpers on us. You know her? Not personally. I mean, I wish. She's an absolute legend. Years ago, over a century, Jahira was part of a group that saved Baldur's Gate from Saravok, a ball sport trying to plunge the city into war. My mum used to tell us stories about them. The legends who protected the city from evil. She said Jahira was a powerful druid. Adamant. Tough. I've told myself those stories a thousand times since. I never thought I'd meet Jahira. She's a hero, and I was always... some outer city kid. Can't believe she wants to talk to us about working together. What a day! Another step forward. Yeah. There's more where that came from. I don't say. Or steel. I wish we had. Hey, it's Gannon! Let's say hi! This guy. Karlak! I thought you'd be in the city by now. We were ambushed by cultists. Half of us were captured. The other half ran here. Off the anvil into the forge. We'll find them. Hopefully. Before you run off into the belly of the beast, there's something I need to tell you. Uh oh. Well, two things. Good news and bad news. Your heart's gonna explode. That's the good news. Here's the good news. Eh, ah, bad news first. Which do you want to hear first? The good news, obviously. I only need one more piece of infernal iron to craft an insulating chamber that can make it possible for Karlik to touch people exactly oh my god it's really happening it's been so long we've got the iron let's do this thing hang on I think you'll want to hear the bad news too yeah sure but first Fix me. Please. I'm going to give him the iron to make this happen. Let's let Damon speak. Yeah, this sounds important. Fine. Well, go on then. I don't enjoy saying this, Karlak. But there's no two ways about it. Your engine is going to blow and I can't fix it. I'm not sure anyone can. It's simply too hot to exist here in the material plane. Unless you return to Avernus, for good, this thing is going to blow. Sooner rather than later. But... But still, you, you can give me something that will let me touch again, right? Safely? Yes, but... That's all I need to know. Do it. Please. Give me the iron, let's make it happen. Did you hear what he said? Your engine is going to explode. Soon. I never wanted to live forever. I just want to live good. Okay. Well. All right. This shouldn't take long. Was a lion. Same as last time. You'll need to install it yourself. This should do the trick. <sighs> there. So did it work? Only one way to find out. Learn to hug. It won't hurt. You wear an adamantine armor. It won't hurt. Thank you.
Can we go to bed now? <laughs> Hold on, Karlak. There's something I need to tell you. That engine of yours. It's contained for the moment, but it's just too hot to exist here in the material plane indefinitely. You just told us this. I know you know that. But the thing is, there's a cure. Oh, you just changed your mind here. I wasn't making any headway with the mechanics. None at all. The environment here is just too cold to sustain metals like the ones inside you. You have to return to Avernus. For good. Or this thing is going to burn you up from the inside out. And sooner than you think. The minute I set foot back in Avernus, Zarya will force me back into service. I'm not doing her bidding again. I'd rather die. I get that, but don't rule it out. The world just might be better with you in it. Even in Avernus. I won't stop trying to figure out a cure, but... At this point, I think we all have to face the inevitable. Let's make the inevitable, make the inevitable, inevitable that. You read my mind. Thanks, Damon. Really, you've given me more than I could ever repay. It's been my pleasure. Good luck, both of you. Look after yourself, all right? Okay. This is the best day. The best day. I'm happy for you for both of us, if I'm honest. I'm so happy for you, Carla. I'm so happy for me too. Now I just need to find someone to cuddle up to tonight, and I'll be the happiest woman on the Sword Coast. But what Damon said about your engine, we need to get you back to Avernus where it's going to blow. Listen, I'm never going back. If you said I could die right now or live a thousand years in the hells, I'd choose to go out now with my freedom intact. I don't expect anyone to understand that. But I've been dealt a hand most people don't have to contemplate playing. Be forever, you could return just as long enough for us to find some solution. We're a team, we make these kinds of decisions together. But I want you to live. I want to live too, but not under any circumstances. I have the power to choose now, and I'm going to make that choice myself. But I don't want to talk about this now. I've been given a huge gift. I can touch the people I love for the first time in a decade. And for the first time in a decade, there are people I care about all around me. Let me enjoy that, please. Not before it's too late. All right, all right. I'll leave you alone for now. Thanks, soldier. I just want to celebrate this, at least for a little. Okay, so don't we have a good sense for horned freaks, and that ox is one of them. So talk to these animals. Strange one. No, still incapable. Capable of what? Not for you to know. Oh, come on. You Now you've piqued my curiosity. In the accident game, you went back in the grove. You're very hungry then. I saved you all, and now you're, you don't have food. You're a rare breed, an authentic red-backed river ox. I thought you'd be more discerning. Situation it is. Oh, look. You're going to tell us. Maybe. Mine. 
Crazy ox. Your mind, the unwanted visions, we are much alike. A kindred spirit. But I only wish to be an ox. Do you understand? I don't care what you might uh, be behind. What you might be behind it all, you're an ox to me. I don't want to be a homicidal maniac, but we can't always get what we want. Do not conceal, conceal your exalted brutality. You're trying to run from violent thoughts, too, aren't you? My little secret. What are you really? Keep quiet, and you won't have to find out. Your secret, whatever it is, is safe with me. Good little hero. Do you like our new friend? He's new. You're smart. Glad to see you made it. I am. Indeed I am. Glad to see you made it too. I remember you from the grove with the druid. I hope to see you again. Skimpy, I, have... I am uh -oh. sorry to say this, but it is time to end the stream. Say goodbye to all of the nice people and make sure you tell them to have a great day or evening. We will see them again tomorrow. Also, make sure to remind them to hit the follow button and visit your YouTube channel. Okay, let's do this real quick. How'd you make it through the shadows? On the double. One hoof quickly following the other. Okay, and I want to talk to the Mr. Smith again real quick because I thought we were supposed to get some other stuff from him. Where'd he go? avoiding me. Where's it? Where'd he go? No. It's you. What are the odds? So glad you're all right. Well, as all right as any of us. We were just talking to you. A makeshift Harper's fire might not be where I hope to set up shop. But maybe I've got something you can use anyway. And if you find any interesting materials in need of working, I'm happy to help. You mean... I hesitated to mention this back in the Druid's Grove, for obvious reasons. But no one has earned my trust, if not you. When... Elturel was dragged into Avernus. I was drafted into a devil's smithy. It should have been awful. But infernal metal is like a wild horse. Powerful, exuberant. It'll kill you if you lack technique. I can sense some. Smell it almost. Somewhere in the area. Underground, maybe. Out there in the shadows. If you find it... Bring it to me. I'll make something incredible. Found this metal in a place called Grimforge. What do you make of it? Absolutely. Rare to get your hands on this stuff. Well done keeping it to hand. So now what's he going to make? you show that to you. It might draw the wrong kind of attention. Hell Dusk Armor. So 18 armor class. Lesser Infernal Retribution. When you are hit by a foe within 2 meters, it might take 1 to 4 damage. Superior Plate. You take 1 less piercing damage. This vanish itself. So. Went to Shadowheart see if she can do that's better than what she's wearing. I think it might be. Should be. No, it's not. Or is it? Well, actually, technically is. Because of the fire damage, but that's it. It's one pound heavier, but... Probably look better. 
Yeah, it looks better. Mod Hell Dusk Armor. Okay. Both wearing heavy armor, armor class A eighteen. Sorry, armor class eighteen. So I just got AC twenty one. Not that happen. How'd you get to twenty one? It's two. Oh, click of protection. That work. And she's at 22 because of magic. Shield of Faith. So, not too bad. Okay, we can live with that. Okay, so that is going to have to be it for today. I need to get going. My dinner's going to be ready here any minute. So, that's it. Thank you all very much for watching. Much appreciated as always. Hope you enjoyed the stream. And if you're here specifically for Baldur's Gate 3, we'll be playing this again on Thursday. Over tomorrow, Wednesday, playing some more For the King 2 with Jeff and Hurricane. Thursday again, Baldur's Gate. Uh, Friday is uh, Multiplayer Celasta with Hobo, Jeff, and Hurricane. Saturday, um, X4 with the Star Wars Interworlds mod. And then Sunday is Pathfinder, Wrath of the Righteous Day, where the first half of the stream is campaign stuff with Kingpy the Dwarven Crusader Angel, currently in Act 5. And the second half of the stream is the Treasure of the Midnight Isles DLC with Review Group 10. And that's that. So, again, thank you guys for watching. Tomorrow's stream starts at noon Pacific, 3 p.m. Eastern, 8 p.m. GMT for... For the King 2 with Jeff and Hurricane. So thank you for watching. Or thank you for watching. Have a great evening, great day, wherever you happen to be. Stay safe, stay healthy, and I will see you tomorrow.